Alright guys, how's it going? It's Voodoo51292 here, and uh, as I said on, um, I guess a couple of channel updates ago, I said I was ordering a surprise piece of artwork um, for my room, and uh, my dorm room, and as you can see it has come in, it's on my wall, alright, and uh, I apologize for the glare here on the left side, it's coming from the light from the window, there's really not a lot I can do, but, um, as you can see this is from Game Informer, and uh, Basically what it is, is uh, a collector's uh, poster for their list of the top 30 video game characters to define the last decade, you know, meaning 2000 through 2010. Now, uh, the list has come under a lot of scrutiny. Uh, I don't like it at all, personally. I think it's an awful list. Uh, some of the characters on it shouldn't even be on it, and uh, the ranking is pretty stupid. Um, and there's some good characters that they left off of it, but I did not buy the poster. Um, for the ranking, I bought it, okay, because it's a pretty cool piece of art. It's about, I want to say, probably about four feet long. And, um, it's got some really good characters on it that I really like. So, uh, we're going to look at a few of them. Uh, as you can see here on the left side, some people I don't know. This is Ethan Mars. It's really tough to see because of the glare, which I apologize for. He's there with the red balloon. Master Chief, uh, Alex Vance from, uh, Half-Life 2. And then GLaDOS with the cake and the two portals, that's probably my favorite piece there. All the way in the back, if you can see, I'll zoom in, that guy lurking right there is Andrew Ryan, and it says, Would You Kindly behind him. So uh, obviously I love that, a Bioshock reference, probably my favorite games. Um, there's Nathan Drake and Elena Fisher, who I don't think should be on the list, Elena that is. Um, but whatever, there's the key from Uncharted 2 to uh, Shambhala. You've got Ezio, obviously, a uh, picture of the guy from Katamari back there. Um, a guy from, I believe he's from Star Wars The Old Republic, the droid back there. There's John Marsden and Bonnie McFarlane. Bonnie McFarlane should not be on the list. But anyway, going back over here, you got the guy from Bully, Captain Price, a couple of guys, I'm not sure who they are. Then you've got Kratos, um, the two guys from the couple of Grand Theft Autos. You've got Auron here and uh, a chick from... Beyond Good and Evil, uh, I forget her name, and there's a couple other people on here obviously that I'm not sure who they are really, but it's a pretty cool piece of artwork, um, it really, let me back up here and show you, uh, you know, kind of how it looks here on my wall, um, as you can see there's my bed, and then you can see the glare right there, it's awful, and then up here is the poster, and it really, you know, complements the wall well, because before, uh, it was just a giant blank white wall, and uh, as you've probably noticed from some videos on my house, there's I have a ton of stuff all over my walls in my room at home. I love stuff on the walls, um, and this was just a big blank wall, but now I have my poster up, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, on the wall, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it is a collector's item. Now, I have to say, I didn't find this on my own. Uh, I have to give credit to DSP here, because I was watching his condo tour, and uh, he actually has this same poster in his bedroom, and he obviously explained on the uh, video what it was um, and said where you can get it. So I give credit to him for, you know, telling, you know, explaining where it is and where you can find it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's actually level on the wall. It looks looks a little off. It's hard to tell it's such a big poster, but um, but anyway, so... It is on GameInformer.com. I believe that's that's where I went to buy this. Um, it was ten bucks plus shipping. Now here's the deal: I paid for the cheap shipping, meaning it said you know between five and ten days, and uh, actually it came in in two days, um, which is pretty funny. Uh, they give the tracking now. I, I it actually you actually order it through GameStop.com. That's where the order actually goes from. That's where they link you from the Game Informer page. So. Um, and they, they provide a tracking number, and I clicked on it, uh, you know, the first day when I ordered it, and nothing came up. And then uh, either the next day or a couple days later, I checked back, and there was no update. The only thing it says was delivered to my house, and sure enough, it was there. So uh, it got there in two days, but I paid. if I had paid the two-day shipping, it would have been like eight bucks. But I only paid like two bucks for the, the cheap shipping, and it came within two days anyway. So that's what I'd recommend you do. Um, but anyway, pretty cool piece of art. It's there. Um... If you don't know yet, uh, I am moving into an apartment next semester, and um, because of that, uh, I will probably be ordering a couple more pieces of art for my birthday, possibly a 
Fallout New Vegas poster and a Portal 2 poster uh, I'm highly considering to decorate my room with uh, in my apartment next semester. So, Alright guys, well there's my piece of art. I hope you guys like it. It might be a little too high actually to make it into some of my um, channel update videos. So what I might end up doing is actually lowering it a little bit so that it, it can provide maybe a backdrop for my uh, my update videos and such from here. Um, I'm not sure though. Um, but if you can't see it in my videos, it's still here and uh, it looks pretty good on my wall. So uh, if you guys want it, again, GameInformer.com and uh, it's 10 bucks and, and, and pay for the cheap shipping because you'll get it within two days anyway, or at least I did. So that's my piece of art. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I certainly enjoy being on my wall. And uh, so until next time, uh, signing off.